We're breaking into programming to bring you the latest on the deadly mass shooting in Cedar Rapids that happened early this morning. Police responded to the Taboo nightclub located on 3rd Street Southeast. I want to show you how strong this storm was. Check out this ticket booth that's surrounded by all of the debris behind the football stand. If you take a walk with me over here, you can see where that blue dumpster is. That used to be where the ticket stand was. You are the chair of the Public Safety Committee for the City of Cedar Rapids. <laughs> yeah. You mentioned one thing you said, you feel safe. Now, we have heard from several people that say they don't feel safe and they want answers. So. What is a solution to curb gun violence? Search continued today for this 10 year old boy from Montezuma. Xavier Harrelson was last seen Thursday. KCRG TV 9's Brian Tabak joins us live in Montezuma. When you're playing out there in the muddy conditions, it even got me too. If you see, I kind of yeah. slipped a little bit in the uh, mud out there. I thought you just didn't wash your clothes. No, 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 no. Right in front of Regina kids. You know, you hate to see it. Lost all my cool points, but let's just get to the highlights. Police have been on scene for about an hour now. They blocked off an intersection by by First Avenue and Johnson Avenue. They have told us to keep our distance, but they have confirmed with us that they are doing some investigating from an early morning shooting that injured a 46-year-old man. A South Carolina prisoner scheduled for execution later this month has chosen to die by firing squad rather than in the electric chair. Corey, we had some sunlight today. It was like being reunited with an old friend. Today is your 93rd birthday. 93. So today, to honor you as well, we have a group of people here to sing happy birthday to you. So everybody ready? One, two, Two, three. Happy birthday. We're breaking into programming to bring you an update on tonight's severe weather outbreak. Officials say several people have been killed in central Iowa, and we have crews on the scene of damage in the community of Venton. Now they have sandbags out here, and the sandbags, you can see, they're about right to my knee levels, which just goes to show you how high this water is. People gather to grieve, but also look towards healing after this weekend's tragedy. Cedar Rapids Mayor Tiffany O'Donnell says it's important to lean on one another during this time. They tell me that they want this to be a positive event. They will share stories. They'll highlight people who have been making a difference since the Rachel. One thing that they'll be doing is that they will be selling these shirts. Russia has confirmed airstrikes against the Ukrainian city of Odessa. This video that you can see behind me here, it shows a fuel depot burning from those missile strikes. It happened at 305 G Avenue. Authorities arresting 41 year old Michael Thomas Lang and charging him with first degree murder. You want to be my friend? No. We did it. And he's trying to take it from me. Uh, no, no. Why do you think I feel somebody took it from me? I've had it for five months. Destiny Stucker, the woman in the red shirt here, spotted her stolen puppy and confronted the woman who had it. Can you let my dog go, man? No, it's my dog. The two started tugging at the dog when the lady refused to give it back. I didn't want to hurt her. I didn't want to touch her. I don't want to be the, the bad guy, but it's stolen property. And I just, I didn't want to lose him again. I just saw him yesterday. My dog. The woman with the puppy says she bought it from two men Monday for 150 bucks. The same day Stucker reported her dog missing. I understand she bought him from somebody, but it wasn't theirs to sell. After about 15 minutes of struggling, police showed up and confirmed the puppy was Tyson. The, the guy was the same one I had just talked to less than an hour before at PetSmart about a surveillance video of the same girl with my dog getting tags. No, they were just, they were just walking. The woman told police she didn't know the man who sold her the stolen pup. Tice, tice. Once Stucker got the dog back, reward for finding the dog. She paid back the woman's 150 bucks. It wasn't her fault the dog was stolen. She was innocent, and I'm not mad at her. I just wanted my dog. And she said she won't let Tyson out of her sight again. They're not going out of my view in this yard ever again. They're not going in the front yard without supervision. Boarded up doors, a charred roof, and broken windows are what's left of this taped off apartment building in Fairfax. It's a sad scene Michael Trachta avoids. I was at Walmart, he called me, and all I could hear was him coughing and hacking and said, I need you now. That was the last time he got to hear his fiance, Ronald Weston's voice. And I opened the door and I went to run in to get to Ronnie. And it was just like a cloud. It was such thick smoke. It was like a brick wall hit me. He says Weston would have done the same for him or anybody else. I barely eat. He was, he was my motivation to live. Weston loved helping others and was in the process of starting a nonprofit called First Step to help former felons like himself get a fresh start. He loved everybody very much. 
No matter what you did, no matter who you were as a person, he loved you. But Weston died before he could fulfill that dream. Now board members of the organization are hoping to make it happen and help felons who have served their time. When you get out, you think you're free, but you have nothing, no one to go to. No one will let you into their apartment building. No one will give you a job. Um, it's a very different scenario for a lot of guys. So they need they need those first step opportunities. Trocta says he will do what's needed to keep his fiance's memory alive. His dream was to have this nonprofit be successful and that's what's gonna happen one way or another. Yeah, I have to do that. It's called a pressure release. Every uh, 15, 20 minutes. Jeremy Mitchell attacks rehab every day, dreaming of a better tomorrow. I mean, I've gotten down to my elbows to start feeling stuff. I would love to move my arms and legs hug my wife, hug my mother, like, I can't do any of that. His wife Bracken by his side through it all. Your life is just ripped out from underneath you in like a split second. You know, you go to work one day and then the next day you, all this happens and nothing is ever the same again. The $8 million settlement money will help Mitchell get the medical treatment that he needs. Now I can look into the stem cell programs that they have going on because they are pretty expensive. Mitchell is following the officer-involved shooting death of Dante Wright in Brooklyn Center closely. This one also happened at a traffic stop. It's motivating him to become an advocate. Go talk to the community and let them know that the police training definitely needs to be redone. Like, and reforming to me is weaving out all the the bad because all cops aren't bad it's why he says he's happy the cedar rapids police department fired lucas jones even though it was for violations unrelated to the shooting that injured him it goes pretty fast it goes up to like three four miles per hour while mitchell was trying to look forward the past still haunts him i would give back that money or any amount of money to have my normal life